You'll probably agree that being cold and shivering in bed is completely horrible. So a simple way to fix this problem is through the use of an electric blanket. But it might not be as good for your health and sleep quality as you think it might be. So throughout this video, I'm going to walk through why this is the case and what you can use instead. So why are electric blankets labelled as bad? There's a lot of chatter out there about the potential for electric blankets to cause bad things like burns, house fires, especially if they're old and fraying and are well and truly due for replacement. And they're also pretty risky to use on infants and also people who are immobile and can't move that well in bed. But that's not what I'm going to focus on here. I'm going to focus on why electric blankets can negatively affect how well we sleep at night and during the day if you're a night shift worker. Because on this channel, I care about how well you're sleeping in the day and the night. So when we sleep, our body naturally fluctuates by about one to two degrees in the two hours leading up to when we jump into bed and also while we're asleep. We generally run cooler at night when we're sleeping. For the people who are familiar with the stages of sleep, this predominantly happens in the non-REM stage or the non-rapid eye movement stage of sleep. This change in temperature happens because of our body clock or our circadian rhythm that we've talked about many times on this channel that helps our body regulate when we should be asleep and when we should be awake. This reduction in temperature helps us fall asleep easily and allows us to stay asleep throughout the night and get that seven to nine hour sleep that you so desperately need. So you've probably guessed it, but electric blankets make this natural process a lot harder than it needs to be because we're simply too hot. Your sleep quality may be impacted because of this. You're likely to wake up a lot throughout the night and the day. When you wake up, you probably won't feel well rested. And the ratio between how long you're actually in bed compared to how long you're asleep is probably skewed in the wrong direction. So while jumping into a beautifully warm bed is just divine, you're actually working against what your body is trying to do. And that is helping you fall asleep and to stay asleep. Just as a little fun fact, this is why some experts recommend not exercising too close to bedtime because exercise heats you up. And again, that's working against what your body's trying to do. But we talk about exercise in a totally different video. So what temperature does our bodies like? While everyone's got different preferences, most experts agree the best temperature for sleep falls between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit, or for those who are more familiar with Celsius, it's 15.6 to 19.4 degrees Celsius. So now's a really good time to check out that thermostat and see what you set it to when you're trying to sleep. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give us a like. It helps this video be spread to more people. Thank you very much. Now, what if you live in a consistently cold climate or during the winter months, it is completely freezing? My brother lived in Alaska for four years and was forever talking about how cold it was, particularly at night when he was going to sleep. Now, I don't know if he had an electric blanket at the time because I never asked. However, what do you do when you are so cold at night that you actually cannot fall asleep? I've got a couple of recommendations here. My first one is to wear socks to bed. Now, I know this sounds really strange to do, and it's something that I've only just started doing, but wearing the right socks to bed can be a complete game changer. Now, I'm not just talking about any average athletic socks like this that you've got at home. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about socks similar to this that you might have lying around at home. Now, I first want to talk about this brand, Body. These socks, oh, they will change the game, my friends. If you go to sleep and you've got cold feet, you need to put a pair of these socks on. I've got a similar pair, which is a little bit more fluffy, you'll see. And I've also got these grips on the bottom, which are ideal if you're going to walk around the house. But I find that these just don't keep my feet as warm as what these ones do. So if you're in the mood for a little bit of shopping, 
I highly recommend these. My second recommendation here is to use a heat pack rather than electric blanket. Dan and I are huge fans of heat packs. Look, we've got lots, lots and lots of different ones. Oh, that one's been burned. See, that's no good. Been burned. <laughs> but this one in particular has got a nice lavender smell to it, which also helps me get to sleep at night. Why we love heat packs is because they give you that initial warm feeling when you get into bed. You can wrap it around whatever body part you want. Whatever sore is generally what we do at night. If you are super cold at night, maybe wrap a few of these around you instead of using an electric blanket for a similar effect. But after an hour or so, they will lose their heat. So they won't disturb your sleep. If you've got a hot water bottle, this can also be really effective like a heat pack, but there's always a fear that you haven't done the lid up enough and you're going to scold yourself and you're gonna have a big wet bed. So if you've got a hot water bottle and you'd like to keep using it, be my guest, but just make sure you've tightened the lid. Now my fourth recommendation is to have a beautifully warm bath or shower. Now, I know this might seem counterintuitive, but lying or standing in the hot water actually helps decrease your body temperature because as soon as you get out of the bath, your body will naturally cool down, bringing on feelings of sleepiness. So maybe give this a whirl. If you are sleeping badly and would like to know what other sleep aids we recommend, check out this video next. We've got lots of effective and reasonably priced sleep aids that we can't wait to show you. Thanks for checking out this video. We appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you at the next shift.